Nippy, which is Ililamoan for water, is a vast connection of rivers, lakes, and wetlands collected in the Moose River Basin. This watershed stretches from the dense forest in the most southern part to the Moose River located all the way up north. The river drains into the cold, salty waters of James Bay. Since time immemorial, Ililawak, or the people of the Moose River Basin, have looked after the waters that they call home, and these waters have in turn nourished the Ililawak. Nippi provided clean drinking water, food, and transportation, not just for people, but for plants, medicine, and animals. Nemeo, or lake sturgeon, is a large ancient fish that traveled hundreds of kilometers to spawn in creeks and at the bottom of waterfalls. Nemeo feed in the rich rivers throughout the Moose River watershed. These fish have traveled across a network of rivers and fed Ililuak for thousands of years. However, as time progressed, colonial people and practices spread across Canada, both affecting the Moose Creek homeland, its people, and its water. Starting at the turn of the 20th century, Nippi in the Moose Creek homeland began to see large changes because of industrial development, which had plowed forward without recognizing the indigenous peoples who had called these lands and waters home. Roads and mines were constructed and large-scale hydroelectric dams were developed, providing power to those in and outside the Moose Creek homeland. Currently, there are over 40 hydroelectric dams in the Moose River Basin alone. As these large hydroelectric dams were constructed, Nippi in the Moose Creek homeland reacted. Rivers were slowed down by the dams. Reservoirs the size of lakes, kilometers wide, pooled behind dams and forests, fishing spots, and culturally important areas like waterfalls were flooded and now remain under meters of water. The Adam Creek was formerly a small, narrow creek that was blasted, cut, and widened for the dam. The Adam Creek Spillway, as it is now called, stretches hundreds of meters across with massive sloping banks up to 20 meters high to allow water to flow out as part of the water management for the hydroelectric complex. To this day, the land and water do not look the same, and Nippi cannot flow north the same way it once did, an impact to the Moose Creek homelands and its peoples. Nemeo are impacted greatly by these dams and the changes to Nippi. Nemeo and other fish near the dams can be swept through or entrained because of the pull of water through the gates in the dams. Nemeo are stressed, injured, entrained, or killed by the dam activities. They can also be trapped between dams or in pools, like at the Adam Creek, causing their movements to be stopped or slowed by the challenging barriers that these dams create for fish movement. They cannot move, reproduce, or feed in the areas they once could, and changes in water levels can threaten the safety of their eggs in rivers, which Mother Nemeo only lay once every four to nine years. Downstream and further north, Moose Creek peoples see the impacts of these dams. Less water is able to make the journey north, and the water that does carries sediment and other substances from resource development activity. These sediments create sandbars as they move downstream all the way from the dams to James Bay. Moose Creek peoples cannot travel the rivers the same way as they once did because low water levels and sandbars restrict their ability to access parts of their homelands, much like Nemeo and other fish. Moose Creek First Nation has become increasingly involved in the activities impacting their homeland, becoming partners with industrial hydroelectric and mining companies to increase meaningful involvement with land use and protection. Moose Creek First Nation's Resource Protection Unit spearheaded the Looking After the Land Monitoring Plan, which sparked a partnership with the Learning from Lake Sturgeon Program, a joint effort with Wildlife Conservation Society Canada. We hope to learn from Nemeo. They have much to teach us. The joint effort is dedicated to better understand the impacts of hydroelectric dams. This work prioritizes community and youth involvement. Nippi in the Moose Creek homeland 
has been impacted in the past and that history can be seen in the water, land, and memories of the Muscri people. Nemeo live a very long time. Many of the Nemeo swimming right now in the rivers will outlive those of you watching this video. By looking after the land, learning from Lake Sturgeon, we hope to ensure that Nippi, Nemeo, and the Aliluak remain connected and protected so we all can thrive now and in the future.